the one down. Five, four, three, two. Hello everyone, this is Megan Meehan reporting for Alexander German Productions and today I am pleased and honored to be here with artist Melissa Hinn. Uh, Melissa is associated with Artland Gallery in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and she also recently showed at the Demusi Gallery, Demusi Contemporary Gallery rather, where I am an associate curator and her beautiful piece that she's holding there called Celtic Glory won second place in our jury show. It was our very first jury show actually. So Melissa, thank you Thank you for being here today and thank you for bringing in these beautiful pieces of artwork. They're, they're stunning. Well, thank you for having me, Megan. It's a pleasure. So when did you decide to become an artist and uh, what kind of things inspire your work? Well, I believe I've been an artist since the day I was born. Um, I've always been creative and um, I've just had a need to create and um, I've been doing it since I was a child. I think that art isn't everything and um, I think that when you get up and you get dressed in the morning you are yourself a blank canvas and it starts every day. Yeah, like you putting know, your makeup exactly. on and doing your yeah. hair, making yourself look human. Sure, <laughs> you know, and I think there's I art in, yeah, yeah, there's art in, you know, how you um, present your house, how you present yourself, mm -hmm. how you cook your food, how you present everything, so. And the design and everything and yes. design and art are very closely linked, so it makes a lot of sense. Well, there's a lot of people who believe mm -hmm. that um, as a child, everybody's born with that artistic talent, and then as they move through the school process and become more, more regimented, yeah. um, that, that kind of gets it. stifled and mm -hmm. pushed down. But artists don't ever lose that, and they keep it with them. So I guess, you know, that's a positive. It's very possible. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is extremely positive. It's always good to see beauty in things and be able to create these beautiful things. I look at them and I smile. Oh, thank and you. we need more work like that. Thank you. So you're associated with Artland Gallery. Yes. Um, they're out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Mm -hmm. I have written about you in the Artland Gallery uh, magazine, or the Artland magazine, which is right over there, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, what would have you in your experiences working with Artland Gallery and owners Michael and Aline Joseph? Oh, it's been a fantastic experience. Um, I love the gallery space itself. It's um, beautiful, open, airy, and um, the way that they hang the shows is very complimentary. Each, mm -hmm. each piece of work complements the other works that are surrounding it, and for me, that's fabulous. That's a fabulous yes. show. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Artland Gallery is planning to have a booth at the Art Expo, which is taking place in New York City on, I believe, it's April 21st. It is a huge international art show. Are you going to have some work exhibited there? Yes, I am going to have some work fantastic. there. Fantastic. Fantastic. That is a really marvelous show. Anybody that loves art should definitely consider checking that one. I had a wonderful experience exhibiting with Art Blend there last year. Um, mm -hmm. Their gallery, uh, in fact, won uh, has won awards for um, the presentation of the art. They have they have actually set up some of the best booths that were at the show. Like last year, they had easily one of the best locations. Like it really was. It was huge and, and one of the bigger booths, so nice. I believe. Too. Yes, it was right. a big, big booth. I mean, I yeah. think it was like it, it was. It was one of the biggest ones on the show. Yeah, so very nice. Very lucky. They did a very good job. They, they, but I, I enjoy working for them too. They really they do a good job and they have a lovely mix of artists. Really. And I can't wait to see the art book that they're going to be putting out. Yes, they were putting out a brand new art book which will be um, available at Art Expo. Uh, it's basically going to be at the booth. There's going to be like piles of them at the booth and maybe at the door too, but definitely at the booth. So if you're interested in seeing some more of the artists that Art Blend um, Gallery covers, then definitely stop by their booth at Art Expo in April. So as far as um, your work goes, what shows do you currently have running now and what shows are coming up in the future aside from Art Expo? Okay, uh, well I had just picked up recently from the Demosi mm -hmm. Gallery. Um, uh, at the same time I was exhibiting at the White Room Gallery um, Flow Show, which is um, how one of these pieces was created. and. Um, I just picked up from there. Um, quite honestly, you know, besides the Art Expo coming up, I have some pieces in local smaller galleries in um, both uh, the Port Jefferson area and Sayville. Okay. And um, right now, just um, you know, looking for open calls for artists to exhibit the work always at the Art Blend Gallery down in Fort Lauderdale. Marvelous, marvelous. And like, I'm going to have more information for artists soon regarding the Demusi Contemporary Gallery, so definitely stay tuned for oh, that. Oh, yes, yes, that's we definitely, wonderful. We want to do more, you know, we're probably going to do a series of online jury shows now, so that actually is when the artists send in pictures, so you don't have to like be concerned with lugging the art there, or mailing it, or picking it up. So oh, that okay. will be an interesting, that will, uh, the, our next jury show will be online, it will be our first online one, so we'll see how that goes, but I'll definitely let you know. Yeah, I've been getting the emails, and um, the art that they've had there has been fabulous. Yes, so 
the owner of the Mosey Contemporary, uh, my boss, Raina Mesh, she's amazing. She's an art consultant, she's a curator, she's an artist herself, and she does a great job. And we were so happy to have your work at our show, and I'm so pleased in one second place ribbon. Oh, thank, thank you. It, it's really gorgeous. Well, the Could space there is just lovely. Yeah. The, the gallery <laughs> itself is lovely. Yeah. And that was a great show that you curated, right? Yeah, that was my first curated show. I'm supposed okay. to curate that was my first time curating a show, so I was very pleased to have you guys. Well, you did a wonderful job. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. So, um, is there anything else that you would like to mention uh, to tell anybody to tell us about that's coming up in the future? Well, I do run my own studio, my art mm -hmm. studio, out of my um, Miller Place area, and um, I'm always happy to uh, be teaching. I have about 20 to 25 students on a weekly mm -hmm. basis. And, and you teach at your studio? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yes, and I have a satellite studio over in Belport, which is my hometown, Belport, New York, mm -hmm. and I teach over there uh, on Tuesday nights. So it's nice to spread the island beyond the South Shore for part of the time and beyond the North Shore for the others. And Absolutely. Yeah. And Long Island needs more people to promote abstract art because a lot of the art in Long Island is a little bit more traditional. So it's fun to get it people that is, yeah. really love the abstract and see the merit in it. Mm -hmm. So it's wonderful to talk to know people like you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. So thank you very much for coming. It was wonderful to interview you and I look forward to hearing what you have going on in the future. And if anybody's interested in your artwork or what's happening with you, um, where can they check you out? Like, do you have an email or a website that you would like to mention? Yes, Fine Art by Melissa Hinn, which is the the website itself is www.mhinart.com. So take a look and just leave me a comment and let me know. Say hello. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Thank, Thank you. you.